Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Har. I'm at Neocon's second day of the show in the afternoon, and I'm in the Bentley Mill space on Kinsey, and I'm with Todd Vander Crook, Vice President of Design, and Sherry Drager, Vice President of Marketing. You guys doing okay? We're doing fantastic, Kemp. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Well, I wanted to get together with you because you have a very interesting theme. Most people know they come to the show. You have a space on the 10th floor where you really build out your theme every year, and your theme is always kind of tying in to the fact that Bentley is an L.A.-based manufacturer that has cutting-edge West Coast styling that uh, you've been known for since the beginning of the company. And this year, your theme is Los Angeles. Talk a little bit about that, if you would. We have tried to tie the product development story together with the brand story to make a real cohesive evolution of the entire process for, for our customer. And so this year, we took a little deeper look into Los Angeles for our inspiration. L.A. is an interesting place because it's a city whose history is constantly being demolished and rebuilt as those buildings kind of go up and down across the city and landscape. But there's still these little hidden nooks and corners that are left forgotten or misplaced. On the backside of Griffith Park, there is an entire zoo that was built in the 30s and abandoned in the 50s, and it's still there. All the animal enclosures are there. You can climb up in there and you can hike through it. And it's just a really magical place in a way. And to see how it's evolved over time on its own with, with, you know, new inhabitants, you know, maybe it's the coyotes that are in there, you know, kind of, you know, tearing things apart or, you know, vandals that are in there graffitiing the walls, it's, it's changed. And so those textures really translated very well into, into, into pattern design for our, for our, new, our new products. Mm-hmm. And there's a little bit of an allure to our mystery to th- these hidden places, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, it's it's all about discovery and this whole process of like finding something that's new and that's been forgotten or, or hidden. You know, the, the products work the same kind of way and we wanted them when you install the product to you get uh, rather than a, a pattern motif that repeats over and over again, it's an evolving landscape of design that flows through the space and allows both the, uh, the designer and the inhabitant of the space to have this sense of discovery. All right, so let's talk about how you've translated this into a couple of really neat collections, Trespass and Underground. Talk a little bit about them, if you would. So Trespass and Underground are the two patterns that are part of the Los Angeles collection. They're made on some new equipment that's allowed us to push our pattern story much further than we've ever had been able to in the past. We're using the new uh, CMC color point machine. It's been tremendous for us because we're able to place color really precisely and control exactly how the pattern reads. And on top of that, it's got a great performance story. And we're making all of our products, you know, uh, in this collection out of Antron Lumina, 6.6 nylon. So, you know, you've got the whole package, really. And in the secret, one of the secrets to the CMC color point machines is the ability to give you texture not, so not only color change, but also texture as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, it's an extremely versatile machine. So, you know, we've got this great mastery of color now, and, as well as texture, you know, which they've always had the, that texture element. But the, this color placement piece is, has been a huge change for us as, as, as product designers. And I might add that these machines aren't cheap, and you, you guys have continued to invest in new tufting equipment that's enabled you to have this look. And I'd also like to point out that, you know, we just did our June issue, and Bentley grew, you know, roughly 30% last year. So you've had an excellent year, right? Yes, yeah, it's been, it's really kind of taken us, not by surprise, but it's really been a, kind of a skyrocket for us, and we're excited about it. You know, Jim Harley, who runs our, our plant, has done an amazing job pushing all this product through you know we got two new um, cmc machines this year and we're looking at another one coming up soon it's just because we're growing so fast sherry i know part of the success story for any neocon presentation is to have some activities that go on in your space talk a little bit about what you're doing to tie this in so the a and d folks come in here and, and will remember the bentley brand Sure. You know, one of the first things we like to do is we like to make sure that any activity that we're doing, any touch point that we have, has a definite connection back to whatever concept we are. And we're very, very conscientious of that. So one of the things we did this year is we partnered with a company in L.A. called The Giving Keys. And they're an organization that helps the L.A. homeless population that's willing and ready to want to get a job, be able to come and work and make jewelry for them. And the idea behind The Giving Keys is that you purchase this jewelry. It has a message on it. It may say, create, inspire, brave, fearless. 
And at some point in your life or your day even, as you go on, uh, you meet somebody else who maybe needs that message and you actually give your key away. So you kind of continue to pay it forward. And we just thought that was a really great way to team in, you know, the whole lost concept because a lot of times, you know, the homeless population, they're your lost people in, in your city. And so to be able to do this and promote it and get them some more exposure and it went off gangbusters. It was really, really fun. We also did some fun Mexican coffees in the morning, celebrating a little LA there, and as well as um, we did some aura photography over here, which is about discovery. This is a little more about self-discovery. So for us, again, a lot of these things to re-support the brand, to re-support the message, you know, all tying back, we really try to make sure that there is a connection. I've been in both spaces. You know, this one's a bigger space on Kinsey, the space on 10, a little smaller, but it's been packed. The decor with, uh, I guess, it looks like a hanging Spanish moss. I think you knocked it out of the park again. Well, thank you, Kemp. I mean, I, I can tell you for, for Todd and I, it, it gets to be a personal journey too. You know, Todd has an amazing vision and, and an amazing ability to, to put a concept out there. And then we work really hard together about bringing it to life. And we are supported by not only amazing teams internally on our side, um, but the, the people who help us actually build these spaces have been unbelievable but it's a labor of love <laughs> all right and Todd I'd like to shout out one other thing you, you know you've been a collaborator with us at Floor Focus for a long time most people know your background you're a Jack Michigan uh, trained person who really knows how to use tufting equipment uh, to the nth degree and you've also helped us by in February you wrote our color forecast story and uh, we really appreciate that so it's good good to spend time with you guys again been talking to Todd Vandercrook and Sherry Drager at the Bentley Mills, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and Floridelli.net.